Hey Jacket fans, the women's basketball team had a great run at the ACC tournament this past weekend in Greensboro, North Carolina. They won their first two games and stayed neck and neck with Maryland for the final championship game. It was a tough, hard fight, but final score was 68-65. to and now it's the men's turn as the ACC tournament hits the court this week in Atlanta, Georgia at Phillips Arena. The men's team will take on Miami Thursday night at 9 p.m. Earlier today, we got to talk with Coach Gregory, Camion Halsey, and Daniel Miller as they prepare for Thursday night's game. Well, Coach, you guys have actually been playing your season all year long at Phillips Arena, at least the home games. So how is that going to help you going into ACC play this Thursday? Well, I think it's... Uh, it, it's um comfort level for our guys they've been through you know taking the bus over there locker room situation all the different things and when you get into a tournament one of the big things that is important is your comfort and do the guys feel confident in the daily approach and I think our guys will be ready to go Thursday night they've had practice at that already yes, they have. now how are you motivating them to take on Miami well I think one thing um that's important is we did not play that well when we played them the first game uh and give Miami credit they they did a great job defensively against us, and we're very, very efficient on the offensive end. I think we're a much different team than when we played Miami the first time. I think our guys have improved as individuals. We're playing better as a team in terms of moving the ball and defensively and so forth. Uh, so I, I think our guys feel pretty good about the opportunity uh, to play, as we said, at Phillips, a place they're comfortable with, against a team that maybe we didn't have our best outing against. And so that pride factor needs to come into play that we have another opportunity to make up for something that maybe we didn't do so well the first time. So the second half of ACC plays definitely improved. No question about it. Three and five during that time, uh, which, I, you know, I, I'm not happy with three and five. Uh, we lost one game on the last second shot. Uh, had another game where if we made an open three in the, in the last seconds, we would have won. So we've played much better. There's no question about it. Our, our offensive execution has been better. Our decision making has been better. And I think just our cohesiveness as a team on both ends of the court has really shown. Our effort has been tremendous. And so if we continue to do that, we're going to keep taking steps as a program. Well, we had a big win last weekend. How important was it to have a win as the final game of the season? I mean, very important. Uh, and especially the way we did it, a total team effort, a little bit from everybody. Uh, some guys really stepped up. Jason Morris, maybe his best game as a yellow jacket, uh, not just offensively. And people will look at the points that he scored, but he was really good defensively, did a great job when we went to our zone defense, which we haven't played much, and he did a really good job of communicating and talking. Uh, did a good job on the glass as well. Uh, but there's just the excitement. The crowd was into it. I think for the first time we had a little buzz going with the, with the, with the crowd and the, the run we made in the second half. So all those things are important heading into the tournament, feeling good about what you're doing and uh, feeling good about each other as teammates. Well, good luck in the ACC tournament. Thank you. Anything else you want to say for the fans out there? Well, obviously it's been a, it's been a tough year. And, and we knew it was going to be tough, but the fans have been great. And, and we wouldn't have been able to continue to make the progress we have as a team and as, we, as a program without our great fans. And, and they stood by us. We're looking to make a nice little run here in the tournament. And then once we get that done, we'll be able to move on and, and continue the bright future that we have here. Well, thanks. So, Kami, let's talk a little bit about the first half of the season and compare that to the second half. Uh, the first half of the season, we were trying to still define ourselves as a team, as to who we are and uh, what we believe in and uh, just getting to know each other better on and off the court. First half of the season, I mean, you know, it was a little frustration. I mean, guys, you know, you know, made a lot of turnovers. I mean, you know, just trying to buy into the system more and also getting to know the coaches more and coming come, uh, comfortable with the coaches. For us, now the second half of the season, we we're kind of defining who we are. We're buying into the program uh uh, the coach, we have a great relationship. I mean, they can tell us something, like maybe holler or fuss at us, but we won't get all mad because they know they just want the best for the team. And it's just like having fun out there on the court. And we're like the relationship and the bonding just came together a lot in the locker room and on and off the court. And uh, we're, a, we're a tougher team. And defensively, we're doing a better job of the team too. And we saw that last Saturday as well. How did that game go for you? Uh, it was, it was a fun game. I had a lot of fun out there. I mean, we did too. I mean, I mean, when you win, it's fun anyway. When you win, I mean, it's, and it's just playing hard. I mean, if, we played really hard that game, and uh, I mean, we deserved to win. I mean, and we battled. We battled. It was a battle. I mean, we came out on top because we played hard and we prepared well for that game too. 
And you guys are preparing for the ACC tournament. It starts this week. You guys are going to play Miami on Thursday. How is playing in Phillips Arena this whole season going to help you guys out this week? I mean, it's going to help us out a lot because we had a home court advantage. I mean, I'm very comfortable uh, to the uh, to Phillips Arena. I mean, I love it. I am just love everything about it. And uh, we should have the home court advantage. We should go in and uh, ready and happy. I mean, let's go out and ready to compete for the ACC tournament. I mean, that should get you pumped up, pumped up anyway. Well, good luck Thursday. All right, thank you. Hey fans, I'm here with Daniel Miller. Daniel, tell us about how you guys are going into the tournament this Thursday. Uh, well, we play Thursday night against Miami. Uh, we've been playing really well lately. Uh, we've been starting to figure some things out, and I think we're gonna. I think we can win this game and go on to play Florida State. How has playing in Phillips Arena this whole season helped you guys prepare for Thursday? Well, we've played you know a lot more games than everybody's gonna play there from the tournament, and uh, just the comfort and. The fans uh, being right here, uh, my family's going to be there, uh, friends are going to be there, so it should be fun and it should help us a little bit. Have that home court advantage? Yeah, yes ma'am. Not not the exactly the home court advantage, but definitely more so than the other teams. Now, how are you guys preparing to take on Miami? Um, you played them once already this year and this is going to be our, their second time. Um, probably just defend like we've been playing. Uh, we've been defending really well. Um, we can't have turnovers, and their big men are a big part of their success. And I think me and Cam will be, you know, we'll be studying what they do and just getting ready to play. And I think it'll be fun. Well, good luck Thursday. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, fans, coach, and the team are ready for Thursday night's game against Miami at 9 p.m. We hope you are, too. If you haven't gotten tickets yet, you can go to ramblinrec.com and get your tickets today. Also, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, as well as ramblinrec.com, for all the latest news and scores of this week's tournament.